Hey, what's up guys, it's Brain TCT and welcome back to another Rise of King Notes video and in today's video we are going to be talking about another story time that happened yesterday but before we begin to this video uh, I haven't been post I haven't posted in a while and I have been busy a lot um, I'm not going to go into too much depth because I have a video to do but yeah so I'm going to try to be doing videos regularly again so let's just get right into this video so yesterday was one of the best days for my kingdom ever now i'm going to be explaining why in this video because well not just for my kingdom but mainly for my alliance um so we were we went to war with our old kingdom uh if you guys didn't know i migrated our our alliance migrated to the kingdom right next door because they had an alliance that they could put us in and yeah, so we didn't fight the other kingdom at first. We decided not to attack each other so that we could save our troops for like more important battles in the future for more kingdoms. But I don't know what the exact details were, but I guess we got into some conflicts and I came on and we were fighting. So um, then after that, uh, we were fighting for the flags. I don't remember the exact location but where it was, but we were defending it. They were rallying it and... They failed on their rallies and the reason why well first of all I should talk about why we don't like this kingdom so first of all uh, we were kicked out of our old kingdom because we lost the war against them it was uh, three um, three alliances against their alliance uh, back in kingdom eight, um, 1089 and um, we lost because uh, they uh, uh, were they had uh, big credit cards pretty much just they were big spenders and they beat three alliances and each of us we all moved to a different kingdom so we decided to go to kingdom 1090 the another alliance went to kingdom 1093 i don't know about the other one i think they might have moved also to our kingdom but i don't know too much about that um so then um yeah so we lost that we lost many battles we had, we didn't win one battle in that war uh, it was, we were taking the lost temple, we had it, but we couldn't keep it for very long, and then we also tried to take their pass, but that failed. Um, so they won on both fronts, but we have the power of an entire kingdom, because, like, literally, imagine every, all the kingdoms, like, every single active member in our kingdom was fighting against them, and that's, and against them and their credit cards, pretty much, um, and... We won, so we kept reinforcing the flag. Um, at the end of this battle, I lost uh, five hundred thousand troops, um, and that was all just from defending flags and attacking them. Uh, this isn't that much. This isn't, this isn't that bad because I can still fill um, uh, one troop armies with this, but I can't uh, fill as many mixed only units. I was hoping to be able to have two cavalry armies that I can fill, but uh, yeah, I can't do that anymore. Um, and yeah, so that's, and then we defended the flag. And then after that, we started pushing towards their flag. So we started rallying them. They, we ended up actually being able to take it, their flags. And then we surrounded them, their flags, uh, a few of them and they couldn't get past us. So it just burned until it finished burning. And then eventually we started building our flags and then we cut off their territory. And then as you can see, all of this territory this is all rbr flags um so um i think it was right around here where we um where we were like defending and stuff but yeah so it was an amazing day because we won the battle against them and then there was another incident that i had to go during um but they pretty much tried to attack us again. That was around over here, I think. It was, they tried to start pushing us, but I went to bed and then I woke up and we, and we pretty much burned more of their territory and we've taken more. And we've pretty much just boxed them out of their kingdom. The only place I can get out is through here, uh, is, is at that pass, but other than that, they can't get out. We box them in here, um, and throw there. Like, I think they're just going to be being Farmsville for the rest of um, Kingdom versus Kingdom. 
Uh, and this was like amazing because we pretty much avenged all of the, the people that got zeroed in the previous war. We like avenged all the troops that we lost and I think I think we've pretty much won. They might try to attack again through these passes because we can't take these passes. Um, yeah, there it's, it's theirs. Um, it looks like they're fighting. Actually, they might be fighting back at the moment. I might need to help on that. Um, after this video, I might need to help because it looks like they're fighting back to um, get their territory back. But uh, they they might just keep spending and then just keep fighting but we have we have an entire kingdom so there's like there's no way that they can try to beat us and of course they could beat us before but like there comes a point where you have so much troops and so many players where even pay to wins could be destroyed so if you're in a situation where you're a free to play and like you're you keep getting destroyed by pay to wins then just remember that if you have enough people, pay to wins do die. It just takes a long time, but they can die. Um, and that's what's happening right now. I, I'm not saying that they can't start winning against us. They pro if, if they if they tried hard enough and were organized enough, maybe they could start making an effort of pushing us back. But we have three alliances all full of great people and high power people and we have a lot of um t5 players as well uh so i don't think that they're going to be going anywhere so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like tell me in the comments if you guys like my story time videos because i do enjoy making them and i'll be trying to make more daily uploads and if you guys are new here then make sure to subscribe because i make daily rise of kingdoms videos and tips for the game which is uh pretty helpful to have and um uh my last story time video did pretty well, so I thought I'd just make another one, and this was a pretty cool story to talk about. Um, and that'll be it for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.